Hi all, I have an absolutely amazing game to show you. This is Alexander Alekine against Friedrich Collin, played in 1908, Dusseldorf. Let's have a look. It's one of the earliest examples of Alekine playing the Colley system. So this is a very interesting system where you don't play c4. You actually play uh, to close in your bishop, it seems, and this is seems a little bit crazy, but some grandmasters like Yusupov later played b3 and bishop b2. Uh, here, after knight f6, bishop d3, another key idea is to play for a quick e4. At the moment, e4 is ruled out, but here, after knight bd7, we have the move, even before castling, knight bd2. So why it's trying to get a quick e4 in this position as priority. Bishop d6, and white does play for e4. So immediately threatening e5, forking two pieces. So black takes on e4. Knight takes e4 and it liberates that bishop. No longer a problem piece, that bishop on c1. Knight takes, bishop takes, black castles. Uh, here we see bishop g5, a very nice forcing move. Queen e8, white castles. f5, this is a little bit weakening. Black is playing rather ambitiously here. After bishop d3, black dares to play e5. The diagonal of death has been responsible for many uh, victories for white. Can white actually use this uh, diagonal of death, so, so to speak, to kind of win this particular game? Black is threatening, of course, e4 here. We have d takes e5, which at the very least means that this pawn duo has now gone, and this bishop on c8 is blocked in by its own pawn. But the other key thing here is this nasty pin, rook e1. Black plays here queen h5. And already it looks rather shaky for black. We have uh, a very, very powerful move indeed now, which is, can you guess, if I give you five seconds, white, white play here. Okay, knight takes e5. This takes away black's control over that c4 square. So this bishop can now potentially come into that diagonal. Black plays queen takes g5. Perhaps a little bit surprised because the bishops uh, are worth more generally in general terms. Often uh, players like the bishops. However, here with that diagonal of death, we have bishop c4 check. Now king h8. Now there's two very, very strong moves. One is much stronger than the other, in fact, though, in this particular position. What would you play here? I'll give you 10 points for one of them and 100 points for the other. So white play in this position. What would you play here? Okay, if you said knight f7, check 10 points. This does win the exchange. You are forking the king and queen. Uh, so this is just clearly the exchange up uh, with a technically winning position. But there's even uh, a more spectacular move in this position. I wonder if you found it, uh, which uh, wins even more material, in fact. 100 points if you found it. Queen takes d6. Yes, it weakens that back row a bit. Now black desperately played queen takes g2 check. Before we get into that, why not just take, well, knight f7 check. And here the back row is a bit sleepy. These uh, pieces are still in bed, and so to speak. And if rook takes f7, black would be back row mated after rook e8 check with these sleepy pieces there, checkmate. And so if that doesn't happen, then white just collects the queen and is a whole knight up here. So that is absolutely winning. And in fact, can take this pawn as well. Totally winning position. So uh, this was rather desperate. Queen takes g2 check here. Let's have a look. There's really very little options. A fantastic tactical move. And you know the magic of Alexander Alakine has been impressing me recently in puzzles. And I thought, oh, let's let's look at the whole games of these of these puzzles I've been checking out recently. So I hope you like this move. So queen takes g2, rather desperate. King takes g2, and the game ended here. So you won't see this sort of game uh, too frequently in the modern Super GM tournaments. But uh, yeah, I thought a nice little tactical move, getting us excited about the tactics that lie on the chessboard, especially if blunders are made. Uh, so these really uh, come to light. Okay, so the game ended uh, here. If C takes D 
then again knight f7 check and white is just a piece up and can take on d6 with a discover check as well okay so i hope you like this little game uh little intermission from the super grandmaster storm song at the moment uh if you want to play me uh, or other youtubers check out that bitly chess world link bottom left of this video also my leela play playlist so bitly leela chess i'm hoping for some leela games soon but uh okay see you around until the next video thanks very much